This is Talk About Topeka on Gab Local TV. This episode is sponsored by Field of Greens and The Break Room. Here's your host, Chris Schultz. We're here with Lisa Boyd. She's the owner of The Merchant here in downtown Topeka and our next door neighbor. Uh, it's always a good time to have you here, Lisa. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Hey, thanks for coming by. I, when I always call and I say, Lisa, you want to come and talk on the show? And I know you're probably like, oh, gosh, Chris, again? But <laughs> oh, you always make me look good. <laughs> but I'm always fascinated because you've got such a wonderful business downtown. Thank you. Um, and it, you, it's so cool that we've got the construction wrapped up we're seeing a lot yeah. of these pocket parks coming in it's exciting. and it's like we can stand back now at least and take a breath and say Whew, we made it we did yeah right yeah and so what's it what's it feel like i think this is going to be our best year ever mm -hmm. i'm really excited i think there's just something there's this like real good energy about 2016 and i'm looking forward to a lot of parties on the avenue yeah so many great events that are yeah. coming to the area uh, and a lot of the merchants have been working together. Um, it, it's been tough. Uh, no no uh, sugarcoating that. The last two years, we've been under construction down here. Right. It's been tough for everybody involved. And that's why, you know, of course, we need to say that's why you should get out and support the local guys down here because um, most of the businesses that are down here are locally owned and operated. And uh, it, it, we're ready for you. And now we've got a beautiful new area uh, to celebrate with people and, and a great place to celebrate. You've seen a lot of cool events that like that jazz and food truck oh, festival. That was Huge. amazing. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, there was alcohol, it was a family event and it was still okay. Everybody, everybody had a great time. Mm -hmm. It was really fun. It brought in so many new people that had never been down here before. And, um, the music was amazing. Mm -hmm. A lot of those people that said, you know, that's not possible, were just very dismissive right. about it. How cool was it that we could really, um, it, it felt like such a, uh, I, I don't want to say not Topeka, but it, it was a change there where, yeah, mm -hmm. there, were, there was alcohol on the street where we could just carry it around and go out and, and just celebrate together. I think that's the the main thing. And we're, as we see these parks coming, like that West Star Park right. over there, that's massive. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> I mean, it's very exciting. Yeah. What do you What are your customers saying when they come in? Because you know they've had to be. They're talking. They just a lot, ask right? what's going on, and I said I've seen pictures, but I mean, until you see it, I mean, it's just exciting watching it. Mm -hmm. I think they got the clock. I'm not sure if it's it on is. time now. You know, yeah. I kept waiting, and that was like, hey, that's pretty cool. And that's their Toma clock, right? At uh, right at. Ninth and Kansas uh -huh. there. It's pretty cool. And that's a great spot to take pictures of the Capitol. It's, it's the a, best I mean, it's, spot, I think. It, it's like the, the, that's the room with the view right there, right, right. on Ninth Street. You see that beautiful full Capitol. And that's that being done. This is, this is the right time for downtown, don't you feel? I feel it, yes. And almost all the buildings, I think, are sold. And they tease us about things are coming, and I'm excited. I'm really excited about the stuff that they have announced already. So mm -hmm. that's pretty exciting. Well, I always like talking to you because you're you really are kind of a community mobilizer as far as the merchants down here uh, and and bringing them all together. Because mm -hmm. you you spend a lot of time doing that, uh, organizing people and working with people who organize people, and that's I think that's something that's really evolved over the last few years. I think, think us just getting to know each other. Yeah. Other by taking the time and getting to know the other business owners. And then it becomes more personal. So when somebody comes in, if they're looking for something, it just automatically comes to you of where to send them to. But what I've been finding in just the last month, just this year, people actually calling and saying, hmm. Hey, I heard you're doing something. Can I be involved? Or somebody else calls and then they have an idea and it seems like now we're more of a unit to embrace and to help and mm -hmm. support other people or businesses or things that are going on it just seems like it's becoming more of a community thing mm -hmm. and you've done some really interesting events over at your place as well it just uh, what i think it it's really cool about it is that you're willing to take a chance on things that yeah. you know maybe it's maybe it's going to work maybe it's not who knows but you're going to try it out. It's it, you know it doesn't have to be a calculated you right. Know, I was all excited all the about the chess night one night. Oh, I could visualize people playing chess, yeah. hanging out, bringing kids. And I think we had maybe four people, and I I still believe in it. Mm -hmm. And I never look at anything we try as a failure because we learn from. I'm at least going to try it. Yeah. And then we always learn something from it. We perfect it, or maybe it wasn't the right time. We try it again later. 
I've seen some events that you've done over at your place that have been incredibly successful, that lots yeah. of people come over and for. it really connects people. I think that's the best thing I like, is mm -hmm. seeing people meet other people or connect. And, and uh, this Friday, it just kind of fell into place with the... Uh, chocolate walk that we have mm -hmm. and it being Marge's 90th birthday. Marge Heaney, she is, <laughs> uh, you know, if you've been around Topeka at all, you know who Marge Heaney is. And I, I couldn't believe she was 90. I, I, I know. I can't, I can't believe, she's still got the, the spunk of a, you know, she inspires me. Really, yeah, yeah, she really does. She, so uh, you want to say happy birthday to Marge Heaney out there, so. Yeah, and absolutely. it just all fell into place the event wise, so it's pretty, it's her party. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. I hope she likes chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be if she was allergic she or liked, something. She liked, yeah. That'd be good. <laughs> Diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it really is cool. Uh, just for uh, just a few seconds here, uh, tell us about your store, just so people can, if they don't know about That's that. Hard. I don't know if you don't, but uh, <laughs> you, you have all types of things. It's very eclectic. Yeah. I'd like to think um, we might have something for everyone. Literally, you do. Um, Women's clothes, men's clothes, we don't have kids clothes. Um, I like worldly things from all over, and I'm always thinking I want maybe less items, but cooler items. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to start the declutter, we've been downsizing, we're stepping up our quality, and we just want those funky signature pieces for you. That's right, and it's the Merchant. It's downtown in the 900 block. You can't miss it. It's got the big, beautiful awning right out in front of it, uh, and it's, it's a beautiful facade, the, the marble on the front. It's just such a cool building. Go inside, the building won't disappoint, and all the merchandise and Lisa, they're just like <laughs> wonderful icing on the cake, so you should check it out. Thank you so much, Lisa. I hope Thanks. everybody checks out the Merchant in downtown Topeka.